but to say that's Baroque is kind of crazy. We're literally fighting gravity for hours and hours and hours. We don't need to make our lives harder. <laughs> if you want to feel the weight of the bow, we're going to do that exercise now. Hi everybody, I'm violinist Grace Nae Kwan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to hold the bow. The violin bow has evolved quite a bit since the 17th century. Francois Tort, who is probably the best, one of the best bow makers that ever existed on this planet, Tort invented this bow as a response to what was happening in music and in the concert hall and in history. <laughs> because even with gut strings, it isn't what it was in the 17th century. It doesn't go against the design of the human body. So that's the bow hold I'm gonna teach you. So I'm gonna teach you like I teach my students who never touched the bow for the first time. You'll be surprised at how easy it, uh, the bow hold is. Once again, the Galamian bow works with the natural form of the body. So what does that mean? If you relax your hand, there is a natural curve to all your fingers. When we go to bed, we don't go to bed like this. When we like just talk with people, we don't, none of our joints are straight. If you try to make your finger straight and curve out, you'll feel the tension in your hand and how much effort that takes. Playing the violin, playing the viola is already hard enough as it is. We're literally fighting gravity for hours and hours and hours. We don't need to make our lives harder. <laughs> so I like to go with the actual form of the body. So when you relax your hand, wiggle, 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 and if you relax your hand, there is a natural curve. It doesn't obviously go like this, but there is a natural curve to the joints because that is the design of the human body. What a lot of people will do is as soon as the bow keeps moving, they'll like reach for it. Don't reach for it. Let this hand be at a spot. Like don't let it do anything. Everyone else works, okay? So your natural form of the hand and you put your bow around the first joint. So the first thing I say is put your thumb between the frog and the leather. And don't contort your thumb to make it fit. If it goes into the corner, it goes into the corner because everyone is slightly different. When you're holding the bow properly, it should be like a tunnel. This is incorrect. This automatically creates tension from the thumb into the wrist. This is a big no-no. We don't want to ever play with tension. Go with what comes very either naturally or doesn't take much effort. And then what we do is we move the middle finger to kiss the thumb, that's what I say, and that's on the other side of the thumb. This becomes your fulcrum. This is your balance point. This is your fulcrum, like in a seesaw. Now there is only one more step left. Can you believe that? Only one more step. The pinky, you lift up, curl, and then drop. Now, you will feel the weight, complete weight of the bow pushing up against the pinky. It's supposed to be. And when you use your pinky correctly, we get that muscle to work. And when we let go of the pinky, that's what happens to the bow. So that's why the pinky is so important. Your pinky serves as a shelf. Now the shelf, when you have a shelf on the wall, it doesn't push books up or push books down. It is just there to stop the books from falling. That is the function of the pinky at the beginning of the bow hold. So let's try one more time. Relax your hand. Try everything relaxed as possible. You have your bow come to meet you. Don't move your fingers around. Don't move anything around. Relax. Move your thumb. Kiss the thumb. Raise the pinky. Ta-da! And just like that, that's your bow hold. The 
the thumb, the middle finger completes the fulcrum. Index finger is the powerhouse. The fourth finger serves as balance. And then pinky is the driver. What does that mean for the violin? You don't have to press it down. You don't have to do anything special to it. Just curl it so you have power and leverage. If you want to feel the weight of the bow, we're going to do that exercise now. <laughs> now that you've learned your bow hold, remember to do everything as naturally and as easily as possible. And if you would like the next video on how to use the Galamium bow, once you have the bow hand, how do I put it on the string? How do I get straight bow? Let me know in the comment section below. The longer version of this is on Patreon. So go check out my Patreon page. If you guys have questions or problems with your bow hold, I am giving uh, free lessons for my Patreon members through the Patreon page. So please make sure to go check out and check out my Patreon and consider being my Patreon family. There are many perks. There's many perks for every level and a level for every budget. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, peace.